Selamat pagi. Good morning, everyone. Kenneth here, and today I'm gonna be making a little quick update to my last video talking about how 3D Touch is dying in iOS 13. But turns out, good news, it was just a bug in the very first developer beta where 3D Touch is not working. And since it's been fixed, and yeah, we can just use 3D Touch the way we are used to it. Nothing's gonna change. Apple's not gonna disable it, even though we have the hardware that supports it. And now, let's take a quick look how happy touch compares to 3d touch And so in the last couple days, public beta 2 has been released. It's gotten a little bit more stable compared to the first public beta, which has been really bad, I can say, but I still use it anyway. <laughs> I just want to see how haptic touch differs to the 3D touch. Let's start with Instagram right here. I've got it open and uh, usually we have peak and pop for the 3D touch. So basically, I'm just going to press on this picture right here like that. Now you don't need to press anything and it will just peak right up and you can also still slide up for the quick actions you might want to use but the only difference here is that you cannot just press it one more time to get into this thing so there is no pop in ios 13 i have the iphone 10 R I i bought it from my friend and also the iphone 6s which is mine and we can see right here that pop is not available on the iphone 10 R as opposed to the 6s i have right here in instagram we can see the speed is almost the same but here Let's see, one, two, three, and yeah, you can see that the hardware that supports 3D Touch is a little bit faster right there. And we can still see some bugs here that it detects the whole as text selection as opposed to peak. So this is still one thing that should be fixed in the future. You can still see right here if I hold on the 6S, the speed will pretty much be the same. But if I press on the iPhone 6S, it'll be much faster compared to the usual long hold and it's kind of still buggy as well right now so um yeah so the next thing about 3d touch is quick actions on the home screen one of my favorites is to hold the settings app right here three two one and i'm okay so that failed the thing about haptic touch in ios 13 is you have to release it after you get the haptic feedback on your hand so it's gonna be like one two three that failed one two three there you go so that's the fastest you can do but in iphone success with 3d touch you can just press it right away and release it like that so this is on 3d touch one two three this is on haptic feedback one two three there you go so it's a little bit slower noticeably slower three there it's really hard to do that at the same time but you get the idea like this is just about one press but this is like one two also being able to go straight to the camera in instagram so you can do that there you go that was a bug right there i pressed on instagram but stocks came out for some reason and this is also you can see in public beta 2 there's still a lot of bugs to iron out so this is instagram going straight into the camera which is a shortcut i really like to use day to day Okay, so now the next feature will be keyboard gestures. Like, it's still buggy right here. The thing about 3D Touch is now, if I press on my keyboard once and I press it one more time, it will go into text selection mode, which I can drag like this and do text selection. But you cannot do that with the keyboard shortcuts on the iPhone XR. You can only hold on the spacebar and do things like this. But that is not an issue because in iOS 13, the iPad cursor control system is present on the iPhone as well. So you can grab the cursor just like that and move it around. And also, if you wanna text select, you just double press on anything and swipe it just like that and you will do the text selection thing. So basically, it's not in the 3D Touch anymore, but they just moved the functionality around and this is, I think, a better implementation compared to the press to text select, which let's admit, I don't think a lot of people know that. Okay, so last but not least is the control center gestures. If you hold them, this is just pretty much the same as before in iOS 13, there's no difference. You can just 
still hold them but the thing is now you can hold on the Wi-Fi button to get into your Wi-Fi settings and also Bluetooth settings just like that which is very very handy I've been waiting for a long time for this feature to be copied from Android so it's really nice to have it right here and that basically makes the settings uh, kind of a little bit less useful all in all i am really happy that 3d touch is still present and we can still do things like this multitasking gesture on the older iphones and i hope in the future we can adjust the duration of hold before haptic touch is triggered so that it gets closer to the 3d touch speed right here i can just press it right away and this will occur okay i failed two times there but there you go it is still very slow and buggy haptic touch on ios 13 compared to the 3d touch even on the same ios 13 but yeah i'm sure like in the end this all will be fixed so this is just the state of haptic touch and 3d touch right now so actually now we don't lose anything from 3d touch except from speed and game pressure sensitivity so no more pressing on the screen to shoot in PUBG that will be a thing that I miss the most if Apple decided to still remove 3D touch but like for most of the things that I do all these shortcuts all the peak and pops also quick actions on the home screen right here if all those are present I think I'll be perfectly fine with that you shouldn't update to the public beta just yet though just give it a couple more weeks. So that is pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't like it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are the ones who subscribe from my Bluetooth earphone reviews, I'm still working on that. Like it's a um, weekly topic and I do these couple small things in the meantime. So yeah, I hope to see you guys soon in my other video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Kenneth and I'll see you in the next video.